Right now at noon, a deadly crash in Middleton during the morning commute and a frantic search for survivors in South Florida after a 12-story condo building partially collapses. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. We'll have those stories in just a bit. But first, we're keeping an eye on some potentially strong storms today. Let's head to the Weather Center where meteorologist Austin Kapnitsky has us look at your certified most accurate forecast. A little rain on the yeah. st station right now, but not a lot. Yeah, we've seen some uh, even downpours at the station here and there, but for the most part, a lot of us have seen sub-severe storms, which is a little bit of a step up compared to what we were expecting here at this time of the day. But you take a peek at the Doppler track, still plenty of rainfall, quite a bit of some thunder and lightning as well. And let's take a little bit of a closer look to some of our troubled spots here. Now out around Watertown, especially east of Watertown, those showers and storms, generally the storms have moved out for the most part and that continues to track east. So that's good news here for our communities. But then you take a peek in the Madison area. We are seeing some heavy downpours as of right now. Some thunder and lightning here and there as well. A small hail is a possibility, but we're not hearing many reports of that as of right now. So thankfully these storms are sub severe as of right now. Hopefully we can keep that going throughout the rest of today. We do have that slight risk for severe weather for today, and that's why we've issued that alert day overall. What we have seen, however, is a flood advisory get issued for northern Columbia and Dodge counties. Now this is going to expire at 2.45 p.m., so we still have a few more hours to go. What this means is we have seen quite a bit of rainfall that's actually fallen in that shaded area right there. So there is a potential to actually see some flooding, some reports from the ground would be awesome if we could get those in here over the next few hours. But an alert day again in effect for today. Severe thunderstorms possible. So far we haven't seen the severe thunderstorms, but we have seen the heavy rain, a lot of thunder and lightning. High winds and hail are a possibility as well if we do end up seeing strong to severe storms developing a little bit later on. All right, Austin, thank you. And you can stay ahead of the possible severe weather today with our Channel 3000 First Warn weather app. You'll find interactive radar and severe weather alerts right on your phone. Breaking news at noon, Middleton police say one person was killed this morning in a crash on the off-ramp from the Beltline to Greenway, Greenway Boulevard. It happened just before 6 a.m. Middleton police say the driver was already dead when first responders got to the crash. No one else was hurt. Police are not releasing the driver's name until they can tell the family. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Crews are still on the scene of a gas leak in Sun Prairie. Dane County dispatcher said fire and police responded around 745 this morning for a report of an unmarked commercial gas line being hit. This is near the intersection of Windsor and Grand on the city's west side. This is still a developing story. We'll continue to update you as we learn more. We're also following a developing story in South Florida. Rescuers are desperately searching for survivors of a partial building collapse overnight in Surfside. That's just north of Miami Beach. At least one person was killed and about 10 were injured. Manuel Bajorcas reports from Surfside. I'm thankful that I survived this. It's hard to fathom. Just after 2 a.m., this 12-floor condo building in Surfside suddenly crashing to the ground. I was in a deep sleep, and all of a sudden I hear a huge, huge crash of thunder that I thought it was. Just north of Miami Beach, this idyllic neighborhood is now a disaster zone. It's uh, more than 130 units, and about half of those have collapsed. The problem is the building has literally pancaked. There's just feet in between stories where there were 10 feet. Uh, that is, uh, is heartbreaking. Mayor Charles Burkett fears finding survivors alive may be unlikely as daylight renews the search and rescue effort that began overnight. And earlier, crews were seen recovering a young boy from the rubble. He was just really panicked. You know, he said that his mom was in there with him. Um, you know, his arm was pinned. Like I said, it was just sheer panic. What caused the deadly accident is still unclear. We're all just scratching our heads, trying to imagine what in the world could have happened. Many of these beachside condos are owned by retirees who leave for the summer, but the mayor of the town of Surfside confirmed to us that families were living here full-time. Time. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Surfside, Florida. And firefighters did rescue 35 occupants from the building. Two were transported to the hospital.
And new and noon, U.S. Senators on both sides of the aisle are touting an agreement on the framework of a bipartisan infrastructure plan. They say the agreement was reached last night by White House officials and 10 senators. Lawmakers plan to meet with President Biden at the White House today to discuss it. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said they would try to move the infrastructure package in July. The Biden administration has extended the nationwide ban on evictions for a month, but says this is expected to be the last time it does so. Today, the director of the CDC extended the evictions moratorium until July. To July 31st. It had been scheduled to end June 30th. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, six million American families are behind on rent. This is now the fourth time the deadline for lifting the ban on evictions has been pushed back. New at noon, an appeals court has suspended Rudy Giuliani from practicing law in New York because he made false statements while trying to get courts to overturn Donald Trump's loss in the presidential race. The ruling, signed today, will prevent Giuliani from representing clients as a lawyer. Vice President Kamala Harris is headed to El Paso, Texas tomorrow. She'll be touring the southern border for the first time since taking office. Harris is leading the administration's effort to stem the flow of migration from Central America through Mexico. She visited Guatemala and Mexico earlier this month. The U.S. saw a surge of border crossings this spring. Customs and Border Protection says it encountered more than 180,000 migrants in May. And the Biden administration is asking the, the Border Patrol chief to step down. Rodney Scott assumed the role of Border Chief back in February of 2020 under President Trump. It had been widely presumed that he would leave office with a change in administration. Scott has, been, has the option between retiring, resigning, or relocating to a different job within the department. Governor Tony Evers says the state will be investing $140 million in federal coronavirus funds to help bolster the state's tourism and entertainment industries. It's time to make smart, strategic investments in our money, in our people, in our industries uh, that will build a much greater future than we had before. The new grant programs will be invested in industries hit hard by the pandemic, including live event venues, movie theaters, summer camps, minor league sports, and the lodging industry. Additional investments will be made in reopening state historical sites and marketing support for Wisconsin's tourism industry. Well, there's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon, an update on today's chances for severe weather, and a look at today's Money Watch report. Americans' dependence on unemployment benefits eases and taking in the sights of outer space by balloon. I'm Diane Kinghall at the New York Stock Exchange. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. Ashley Home Store Stars and Stripes Holiday Sale starts now. Get up to 60% off holiday doorbusters. Pay as little as $25 a month for complete rooms you'll love with no interest financing for five years. Plus, take a bonus 5% off our sale prices at checkout. Ashley Home Store. Menards is your lighting headquarters. Stop by our lighting showroom and find the perfect light for your home. We have a great selection of lights from top brands, including Good Earth Lighting. Check out this 46-inch LED motion sensing shop light. You can connect up to five fixtures to illuminate larger areas. Right now, save 11% on all Good Earth lighting fixtures. Get 11% off everything right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Okay, guys, we've been through a lot together. And we all know sometimes it gets hard, but it's okay to not feel okay. You know what helps? A good book or going for a walk. Not now, Fred. But what really helps is to talk to someone. Because to take care of each other, you got to take care of you. If you need to talk to someone, your doctor will listen. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health. Know how much you matter to this world. Erectile dysfunction for men of all ages has become much more common. In fact, most men don't realize that 90% of erectile dysfunction is a direct result of broken down old blood vessels. This causes a lack of blood flow that is critical when it achieving an erection. With our state-of-the-art technology, we're able to stimulate new stem cell growth right in our office with no pills, no needles, no surgery, and no pain. To book your consultation and get back to natural functionability, call Peak Performance for Men today. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. 
Your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. There's breakfast, there's lunch, there's dinner, and then there are McCafe's Bakery Suites, which are whatever you want them to be. Get a bakery sweet, plus any size hot or iced coffee or soft drink for just $3. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The Summer of Sleep mattress sale starts now at Ashley Home Store. Save up to $800 instantly on the best brands. Pay as little as $20 a month for luxury mattresses like these. Plus a free adjustable base or free furniture with purchase. Only at Ashley Home Store. Welcome back. Amazon Prime Day once again seeing high demand and an update from a major cruise line for those looking to take a summer holiday. Here's today's Money Watch report. and signed up for unemployment benefits last week. According to the Labor Department, first-time filings for weekly jobless claims fell to 411,000. Claims had surprisingly jumped in the prior week, with some analysts blaming that on lingering volatility from the Memorial Day holiday, but a lack of childcare options is keeping some workers at home. Amazon Prime Day had prime demand from virtual shoppers. According to Adobe Analytics, total online sales topped $11 billion. That was more than 6% higher than last year. It was also slightly higher than 2020 Cyber Monday. Adobe says the sales results also include numbers from Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and Kohl's. An update on one cruise liner's COVID-19 requirements. Celebrity Cruises says passengers departing from Florida will not be required to show proof of vaccination. That's because Governor DeSantis signed a bill last month banning businesses from asking for so-called vaccine passports. And if you need a galactic getaway, there's another space travel option. Space Perspective, a Florida company, invented a luxury space balloon. It can ascend 20 miles into the Earth's upper atmosphere and is lifted by hydrogen. A six-hour journey is scheduled to lift off in 2024 at the cost $125,000. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King-Hall. Thank you, Diane. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 322 points. The NASDAQ up 95. The S&P 500 gaining 25. Next to noon, a new study finds life expectancy in the U.S. lags behind other high-income nations by an average of nearly five years. In 2018, life expectancy in the U.S. was 78.7 years. That's about three years less than the average life expectancy for 16 high-income peer countries. But the life expectancy gap ballooned to nearly five years in 2020 after the U.S. experienced a particularly high mortality rate. No other nation experienced a decline in life expectancy as large as the U.S. And in less than a month now, the Tokyo Olympics will be in full swing. The games were delayed a year due to the pandemic. And this week, organizers unveiled the official posters for the Olympic and Paralympic Games. They'll eventually be housed at the Olympic Museum in Switzerland. The posters are a long-standing tradition. Also today, the president of the game says alcohol will not be sold at the venues and people can't bring in their own either. As for COVID crowd size, it is. Organizers say they'll allow 50% capacity at the venues with a maximum of 10,000 people. Overseas spectators are not allowed. Well, still ahead at noon, we'll take a look at your Dane County Humane Society Pet of the Week and an updated look at your certified most accurate forecast and the, today's chances for storms. Stay with us. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Steinhoffel's 4th of July sale is happening now. Start with store-wide savings of 35 to 50% off. Plus, get great deals like this recliner, just $249. A Beautyrest Queen mattress, $349. Or this queen bed, now $749. A five-piece dining set, $799. Want to freshen up your patio? Right now, all patio is on sale. And with Steinhoffel's special financing, you save even more. Only at Steinhoffel's and Steinhoffel's.com. He's here! He's here! <gasps> it's happening! What can I get?
get you, young man? Free installation! Coming right up. Feldco's biggest sale of the year. Free installation. Plus, no interest for one year. Free installation on window siding and doors ends Wednesday. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly swear that I'll support the veterans of the United States Armed Forces. I will defend the Constitution against all enemies that I will commit to ensuring they are not forgotten. And I will enable veterans to live the same life of opportunity they have provided me. So help me God. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. Friday morning, we'll get you ready for the day and have any breaking news for overnight. And in the 608, we'll be checking out a gym that has something for all ages. Join us between 4.30 and 7 for News 3 Now this morning. When it comes to weather, only one thing really matters. Accuracy. Only one station can be the best. News 3 Now. First Warn Weather has the most accurate forecast according to weather rate. Count on First Warn Weather for your most accurate forecast. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Welcome back. Let's check in now with Pam Yaki from the Midwest Farm Report. Some areas getting some much needed rain today. Yep, I'm hearing it on the old radio barn roof right now. <laughs> and let's just hope that it's only rain. I just got an update from some farm broadcasters in Iowa as well as Nebraska. I didn't realize it earlier this week, Tuesday, they got nailed by a nasty hailstorm that impacted the corn and soybeans in eastern Nebraska, northern Missouri, through a big swath of northern Iowa. Agronomists there are estimating that that hail which was anywhere from dime to quarter sized and larger uh, probably did the corn damage the worst. Soybeans can kind of recover depending on how much they're defoliated but boy those corn leaves you lose that and it's really tough to come back so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Right now they're estimating a 10 to 15 percent loss on specifically the corn in that specific geographic area. So I don't have any numbers up for you today. We I, had, I just flat out got busy. What I can tell you is that the market is extremely focused on this rain down in Chicago. That means that our soybeans in particular are down double digits again for both nearby and new crop. Corn market is still down on the cash side, but it's starting to come back a couple pennies, about three cents higher right now as far as the December crop is concerned. The wheat market is also down on the midday, but we have to kind of keep an eye. The harvest is going to begin soon enough for some of our winter wheat, and that may start to change the dynamics of that market. You mentioned the Olympics. Dairy is paying particular attention to the Olympics. The milk, milk PEP program, which is the processor education program, has invested money on uh, trying to have Olympic athletes endorse milk. Uh, the new phrase that you are going to see, we all know about got milk. Now you're going to see the phrase, you're going to need milk for that. And they're using Olympic athletes as examples of needing milk to get that gold. Barrel cheese today, up a penny at $1.50. 40 pound block cheese unchanged at 149. Double A butter, down a penny and a quarter at 171 and three quarters per pound. So like I said, Mark, wonderful to hear the raindrops falling on my head, but uh, hail, that can, that can stay away as far as yeah. farmers are concerned. Yeah, we don't need severe weather, that's for sure. All right, Pam, thank you. Let's find out what our chances of severe weather are. Here's Austin. Yeah, and you know, since we really started out this morning and saw these showers and thunderstorms developing and moving through, it's actually good news for us that we are seeing it this early. What that means is that's going to actually help to stabilize the atmosphere a little bit slightly dropping that potential for severe weather a little bit later on because you notice these popped up and they were some pretty hefty storms at first. We were on standby ready to go if it went severe, but thankfully it started showing some signs of weakening and that's exactly what we're actually seeing right now. Most areas are now just seeing some showers and weaker thunderstorms. Earlier on in the broadcast, I showed you the same area in Madison and this was showing those deeper reds now starting to introduce some of those yellows and oranges back again. And that's a sign again that we are seeing this 
weaken. Now down towards Monroe, it's much of the same, but right up down here to the south and southeast of Monroe, we are watching out here for a little bit of a cell. Possibly could get stronger, but a lot of our signs are showing weakening as of right now. But the day's not over yet. If we do get a break period in the action, help warm up the atmosphere a bit, there is still that potential to see some stronger severe storms later on in the evening hours. Our severe weather outlook still does show that slight risk for severe weather. Whether this gets updated or not here later on in the afternoon, that's still up in the air. Even tomorrow, we do have a marginal risk for some communities to see a strong to severe storm as well. So again, these storms, we are in a pattern where we're going to see more and more of those moving through. But an alert day has been issued for today. Severe storms, again, possible. Heavy rains, we have seen those. High winds and hail, we haven't seen too much of that as of right now. We have seen a little bit of some smaller hail for some areas, but that's just about it. Isolated tornado, again, a possibility. Not very likely at all, however. Taking a peek at our latest model, this is our high-resolution rapid refresh model, otherwise known as the HRRR. And this is still going to show here, again, that break period towards the afternoon. The potential to warm things right back up here. Notice how those temperatures could kick back into the mid to even upper 70s, out west a potential for some of those lower 80s. And then we could see that reintroduction of a few of these showers and thunderstorms, especially down to our southeast. That's what we're watching out for as of right now. It could be a possibility. Drought monitor still shows we're in desperate need of rain, so this is good news overall, especially because we have seen sub-severe storms today. Wind speeds, a little all over the place. Calm in Madison right now, 12 in Mineral Point, 14 in Wisconsin Dells, and again, that's really just because of where we're seeing these showers and storms right now, but the dew points, they're up there. It's going to be pretty muggy out there for the rest of today. Very close to our temperatures. We're down to the upper 60s right now, thanks to the rain-cooled air that we're actually looking at, but you look at our high temperatures over the next 10 days or so, barely budging. We're going to stay in those 70s and generally the lower 80s as well. Later on here this afternoon, mostly cloudy skies will generally stick over. You could see some uh, sunshine here and there. Scattered storms, again, still a possibility. We're seeing that it right now for a lot of communities, and we still could see a little bit more here later on in the afternoon and evening hours. So we're going to continue to watch out for it. Again, today is an alert day for that potential for some of those stronger storms. But you take a look at those temperatures. They just will not move too much here over the next 10 days. And the rain chances, they're also not going to move too much. We have plenty of those over the next 10 days. But since we're in that drought, we need those rain yep. showers. Hopefully we can see non-severe storms like we have so far today. Yeah, more rain is good news. It really is. Austin, thank you. There's more to come on News for Now and Noon. I'm next. We'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Today, we're using a few of summer's best veggies to whip up a dish that's restaurant special. It's so easy, you might feel guilty once you taste how good it is. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The light at the end of the tunnel isn't shining so brightly for everyone. Families continue to fight for survival. Some jobs are gone forever. Bills pile up. But please know, you have not been forgotten. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Rental Assistance Providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Oh my gosh, wow, who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Celebrate this 4th of July knowing you look your best with Plexiderm. Lifestyle expert Annette Figaro is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real and I'm so excited. We even have a video that the viewers can watch while you and I talk. And you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging. And all he uses is a small amount and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the act? ingredient. Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions and very little effort. And I did this to my father. We were at home and we were screaming four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs>
These lines bother me. They really do. And this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It feels great. Looks even better. I'm Neela. I'm 61 years old. I'm a professional personal trainer. It's so important to be in good health and to be fit and take care of yourself. How it makes you feel inside is amazing. Plexiderm, seriously, it fixes all that. It makes you feel as good outside as you do inside. Honest to God, it's amazing. There's nothing there. Like, the bags are gone. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of pros, feet, fine lines and wrinkles. So it targets all those problem areas. So this would be a daily thing or just when you want to like get rid of the bags? And yeah, you would it absolutely could be a daily thing. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. This 4th of July is the best time to get Plexiderm for $14.95. See it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. When it comes to making dinner this time of year, we look for ideas that are fresh and quick, and whenever possible, take advantage of our bounty of fresh veggies. With that in mind, I know you're gonna love today's light-tasting pasta dish that's tossed with a confetti of roasted veggies. We start by cutting up a few plum tomatoes, some zucchini, summer squash, and an onion. All that goes into a bowl, and gets tossed with some olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper. Next, we place our veggies on a rib baking sheet and into a hot oven they go until they're tender and the edges are brown. While they roast, we'll boil up some angel hair pasta and that can be regular or whole grain. Once our pasta is tender, we'll drain it, then we'll toss it with the roasted veggies and the pan drippings. A little fresh basil and a bit of grated Parmesan cheese, and it's time to dig in. Simple, yes. Fresh tasting, you bet. Budget friendly, of course it is. To get the easy recipe for our fresh garden pasta, simply visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly, our resident pasta lover in the Mr. Food Task Kitchen, where today we found a fresh from the garden way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Thank you, Howard. It's time to introduce you to our pet of the week. He doesn't wear a toga or act like a ruler, but Julius Cheeser looks forward to Roman in a cage at your house. This adult mouse will conjure your, conquer your heart and become a beloved member of your family. I didn't write this. And check this out if you're looking for a great job where you can hang out with animals or you know somebody who'd like to volunteer for make a little extra money. The shelter is looking for people to fill several job openings. To find out how, go to the website, giveshelter.org to apply. Last week's pet, Reuben, was adopted. That's good news. If you're interested in adopting Julia's cheeser or checking out the other animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org. Org. Here's Austin with one final check of the forecast. Keeping an eye on the radar. I am keeping an eye on the radar. And so far here, especially over the last few hours, we have seen some good news weakening with these storms that were pretty strong at one point just to the north of the Madison area, now devolving to just a few showers and maybe a lightning strike here and there. But again, this is great news for us because first of all, we need the rain. Second of all, the showers that we're currently seeing, that's going to reduce the chance for the strong to severe storms a little bit later on and the cloud cover that we've seen this morning. Also, that helps to reduce that chance for the strong to severe storm. So hopefully we can keep that up here throughout the evening. If we start to see some breaks in the cloud cover and it starts to really warm up, That'll increase the chances again later on this evening for those stronger to severe storms. As of right now, we are under a slight risk, but again, that chance does continue to drop. So hopefully we can keep that going for the rest of today and even the next few days. All right, also, thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock.